Josh, before we look ahead to Saturday's game against Cheltenham, I think it's important that we look back at Tuesday night and that 3-1 win over Wickham. And something that Matt's brought up is a very proud night for the academy, Harry Kite scoring that goal and running straight over to that, the stagecoach stand where there were hundreds of our academy players. I guess that was you in that position once, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess it was, you know. Um, as you said, it's a very proud night for the academy. I think seven of us, um, as you said, playing. Um, and yeah, for Kai to do that, um, as well as Archie, you know, another an academy product, uh, to score in the way they did in such an important game against such a, a big team in the league, you know, um, it's definitely something that the young academy players can look up towards um, and aim for as well. So the fact that, you know, Kai went and celebrated in front of them, I think that's a great thing for them to look at and really um, focus on and to actually understand, as you know, about Kai T, that he works so hard every day. Um, and people only see him scoring the goals on on, on a weekend, but um, yeah, it's massive, and he deserves the, the three goals that he's that he scored the first start of the season. Hopefully, they, he continues to do so um, because it's yeah, it's really great for us and it's great for the club too. Well, so, like you said, Archie Collins, and great to see Tim with the goals well with the midfield. I mean, the whole midfield's pitching in there. Yeah. How do you assess our start to League One? Because I'm sure you've probably read some comments from fans of other clubs not predicting us to do well. And of course, we're going to lose games. Of course, we might go on a bad run. But six in the table after four games is not a bad place to be. No, it's not. Um, you know, as I said, people always think, oh, it's only small old Exeter. Um, they can't do very well. Um, but, you know, I think we've said before that generally a team that manages to keep the players when they go up generally do well in a league. So, um, people can say what they want about us, but at the end of the day, we we just we're just going to focus on ourselves um, and focus on what we know we can do best. Um, and when you've got the likes of the players we do have, um, there's no saying that we we can't do well in this league. And you know, we take what people say, take it with a pinch of salt, and then just do what we need to do. So uh, I think that's what we're going to keep doing. Of course, something that's going to be so pivotal this season is our home form. It, it, it's been we've had quite good home form in the compared to the whole EFL for a few seasons now, but nearly 7,000 on Tuesday night, other than the Barrow game last season, that, that that's unheard of in recent seasons. It just shows what this team has achieved in the past year and, and how much people in the city are buying into the club. Yeah, it really does. Um, you know, when we run out on the pitch at the start of the game, um, you look at all the stands and they're all pretty much completely full now. And for us as a player, just to see that, it really does give you like an extra boost. Um, to have all that, you know, support around you. And as people say, uh, it's becoming like a real fortress um, for us. You know, people are coming to, you know, uh, the, well, I'll say the park, but St. James. Is it St. James or St. James's, by the way? <laughs> I'm always getting confused. St. James. What is it? St. James. Okay. St. James. Yeah. St. James oh, is becoming a fortress. I know. I'm always getting, I'm always getting confused. But um, no, yeah, it's becoming a real fortress for us. And, people will be looking at our home record and thinking, God, we've got to really put a shift in to try and get a point or even, you know, try and beat us at our, at our, at our place. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Obviously, we're here to talk about Saturday, so let's do just that. Um, yeah. How do you approach a game? You've just beaten someone 7-0 nine days ago or it'll be 11 by the time the game's kicked off. Yet, yeah, it's going to be a completely different team. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, you know, we, we spoke about that today. It's a completely different team. It's a completely different... They'll have a completely different view on how they're going to play the game. Um, you know, they've got some real good players in in that starting lineup that came from Tuesday when they played that's changed from when we played them last week. But, um, you know, I think in our mindset, we've, we've not got to change anything. We've just got to, You can only beat what's in front of you. Um, and, you know, as I always say, we, we just focus on ourselves. And, you know, if we bring our best, I think we can back ourselves to say our best beats their best. So um, hopefully we can do it again on Saturday. But I think we've just got to go into the game with the same basics that we had going into that other game. We beat them 7-0. Nothing needs to change. Um, and yeah, hopefully, you know, we can really, you know, we won on Tuesday. It'd be it'd be another great game to try and get another win um, and keep our momentum going. But as ever in football, uh, when a team's on a bad run, it does just take one result to kickstart a season, we've just got to make sure that doesn't come against us. Exactly. Um, same on Tuesday. Wickham obviously didn't start too well. Um, 
and you know I think we're glad to say we've played in this early in the season because it's very likely they'll they'll kick on and change. So as you said, we've got to be very careful um, and give you know Cheltenham the respect they deserve uh, for staying in League One um, and being the team they have been in the past. Um, and you know that as you said, that could change on Saturday. They could come out flying. So um, yeah, we've really got to just respect them and play our game um, and really give our all again.